I've been in education for 40 years, about 25 of those years in some administrative capacity, um, including an assistant principal in a very large public school and a very large county in Palm Beach, um, to a headmaster of a school that fluctuated pre and post COVID seven to 820 kids or so. Um, <clears throat> what intrigued me most and why I moved here was five grandchildren. And I really expected to retire. Um, but you'll know from reading my bio, I am a person of faith. I am a man of faith. And I honestly believe that God has placed me here for this job. I think for the next five years, we definitely have to uh, collect a lot of data on what does the, a school closure look like? Um, <clears throat> what would those kids be going to if you closed that school? What type of uh, financial gains would you make if you closed a school and opened another one? Hopefully you want those kids to have as good or better experience in their new school so that they buy in. Um, when you look at reversion and you understand that there's gonna be a cliff there where a lot of money's gonna be missing in one year, there has to be prudent decisions to get us to a, a very viable point. And so I'm not saying you get rid of things, but you reassess how you do school. And that's looking at budgets. That's looking at, uh, that's having conversations with a lot of people. Start with town hall meetings. And, and I wanna hear from the parents and I wanna draw data on um, not just we're gonna close the school and ship kids somewhere. I wanna know where those kids are going and what improvements can they get possibly. Um, I, I would be excited if I knew I was leaving a very good school and going to a school that planned for me. Um, what I said um, to the board in my interview is, it's, it's, it could very well be a necessary move for saving finances with reversion and stuff coming, but you also have to have the data to back it up. And it's really hard, in my tenure, it's been, it's very hard to do that in four months. So to me, um, time, it, it doesn't have to be done that quick. I, I don't know if that's the right decision or not, but we'll explore it. Um, and, I'll, and I'll have town halls with those parents. I'm, uh, that's where I, my love is, is to getting and having conversation with people um, and seeing what they really feel. And then to be able to say, hey, this is, this is the reality. This is, this is why this is necessary, or this is how we're going to make this work here now. So it's all conversation, and I'm not gonna sit here and say it's one way or the other, because then you've closed off conversation. A lot of visibility. They'll see me on their campus. Um, they'll see me at games. I started out my career as an athletic director. I lived in the gym and on the football field and the track and the baseball field and the softball field. Uh, the, that's where my joy is watching kids perform. Give me time and let me show. I have experience um, in a lot of different places that some educators, thank goodness, don't have to deal with. Um, like I told you, I, you know, fire and, um, I mean, I, I don't want to spend, spend time on that right now, but um, there are a lot of things that are unique to my experiences that have made me um, very, very ready for a public or a private setting. And I, I, it's, having or not having a doctorate hasn't determined how those things have come out.